Here now is Lisa Bell and Candace Campos with Florida Foodie. Sponsored by Light Orlando, delivering hope together. Hello and welcome back to Florida Foodie. I'm your host, Lisa Bell, here with our producer, Thomas Mates. And today we are joined by a guest so dedicated to his food, he has a good chunk of his menu tattooed right on his body. He runs a scratch kitchen in Castleberry where he whips up award-winning burgers, among other great dishes, with some help from his mother. We're so happy to be joined by Chef Alex Diaz from Alex's Fresh Kitchen. How are you doing today? Good, thank you for having me here. Thank you. Of well, welcome back, because you've been on Florida Foodie before, but it was back when we were social distancing mm -hmm. and we had to do a Zoom interview. Today, you brought some of your famous burgers and other dishes. Correct. And we say this whenever we have food in the studio, but this smells so good, and so many people have been popping their head into this <laughs> podcast <laughs> studio, wanting to know what is this, this great food that they are smelling? Well, this is a gluten-free chicken sandwich yes gluten-free chicken sandwich a lot of people don't get to eat gluten-free yeah. stuff so this is our gluten-free bun gluten-free chicken slaw spicy aioli garlic aioli house made pickles house cut french fries and a kale aioli gluten-free chocolate on chocolate uh, uh, cake that my wife made and uh, oh that's another thing uh, mm -hmm. my wife has taken over in the business so now my mom is like uh, kind of take a break on the okay. Cake, okay. cake stuff. So, and here is the BLGT. So this is a fried green tomato, three slices of bacon, bacon jam, lettuce, and uh, I think that's it. Roasted red pepper. So you have a roasted red pepper uh, aioli right here with your French fries, and then this is our award-winning Mamba Burger. This has 24 spices, eight-ounce burger. It represents Kobe Bryant. Mm -hmm. That's why I created nice. this burger. Um, so that's four pickles, four jalapenos. The jalapenos represent the mamba mentality, the, the bite and stuff, like the whole mamba bite. And then the fried pickles is how he made you feel when he dunked on you. And then the cheese sauce is how he smiled all the time. I <laughs> love that every dish you have has a story. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. oh, yes. yes. And you have an interesting story in how you even got started cooking in the first place. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, uh, I, I started in the kitchen with my father at a young age, I'm 12, 13 years old. Um, started in his Italian restaurant. Well, he worked in an Italian restaurant, had some partners and stuff. So I worked in every position possible from busboy to dishwasher, to prep cook, to bar back, to mm -hmm. hostess, <laughs> to <laughs> everything. My dad put me through everything besides cooking. Like he did not want me to cook. And at that time I didn't know I wanted to cook. And once I worked there enough from 1997 to 2004, I was like, I want to do other things, you know? So I ventured off. And ended up down here in Florida, started working for Jace's Deli, started working for Buffalo Wild Wings, then I started working for Darden Concepts and stuff like that. So I was with Darden for a little bit and uh, pretty much worked all their concepts. And that brought me out to Texas. And in Texas, that's when I got interested in more like independent mom and pops because I got tired of putting mashed potatoes on the plate and grilling that steak and it's like mm -hmm. no creativity whatsoever. Yeah. And so I would go home and cook this stuff and like create stuff. I was like, wow, I should be doing something else. So Texas brought me to a different direction and I found Jamie McFadden and I started working for Jamie, uh, Cuisineers Catering. I did that for like five years. And then after that, I just started like freelancing. Like it's just like going wherever I can, anybody that needed help, I just was, went any, anywhere that I can to find any type of cuisine and learn it until I found where I really wanted to do. Who were your big teachers along the way? I would say my grandma. My gra it starts with my grandma, inspiration-wise, mm -hmm. because she would make anything and anything. Like Sometimes we wanted McDonald's and stuff like that, and we couldn't, couldn't afford that stuff. So she was like, oh, I'll make you McDonald's. And she was like, make the best hamburger ever. And then when I finally ate McDonald's, it was crap. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, she's definitely a first inspiration. And then um, I would say my father and my mom so yeah. when we last spoke with you, which was two years ago wow. almost, and you told us about how you decided to finally open up your own restaurant, your own kitchen, and that was back in 2019. Mm -hmm. And you've opened in Castleberry, you're still there today, which yes. a lot of restaurants can't you know, weather those storms that you weathered. Um, and the, two years ago, you were talking about labor costs, inflation, rent mm -hmm. costs, and all those challenges you're still battling today. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, um, sadly enough, yes. <laughs> it's, 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 been a, it's been a challenge. Um, yeah. 
You it's, described it as a roller coaster. Now I would say it's torture. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I would say it's yeah. torture now just because like it, it, one minute you, you have a good week and you have a good labor cost, good food cost going across the board, mm -hmm. and then you do your next order and everything's up like $20, $30 or more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's like, where, when did this happen? Yes. What, what pandemic are we still going through? Yeah. Like, right now, I just feel like it's gouging at this point. I just feel like certain companies are just throwing a price tag on there. And like, oh, this guy orders this much stuff, so let's like, mm -hmm. he orders this, this, and that. Let's let's put a little bit of money on this one, a little bit on this one. That's what, that's what I feel like, because mm -hmm. every week it's like, something different mm -hmm. you know which is so hard to plan and yeah you know think ahead and, and decide what exactly you need and what your prices need to yeah, be so it's i've been battling that um what was your first tattoo and what inspired you to go ahead and tattoo your menu on your body well the first food tattoo because i've had tattoos so the mama burger this burger right here okay so when uh covid happened kobe bryant died i'm a big kobe bryant fan yep I got motivated to make the burger and we ended up winning the burger Orlando Burger Week. And so I was just surprised about that to begin with because I just entered in a new restaurant and I was like, you know what, since I won, I'm gonna put it on there. And it says Mamba Forever. Mamba Forever. Do you go yes. to the same tattoo artist? Yes, for okay. all my tattoos, so smiley when you tattoo. Went in and you said, I want a hamburger, a mm. Mamba Burger. You mm. took a picture of your burger? Yeah, so this is the actual picture of, if you look up Orlando Weekly winner for 2020, uh -huh. that's the like same exact picture that's on my arm. Okay. And the tattoo artist said, when you said, I want this hamburger on my arm. He just said it was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all the tattoos, like the garlic, okay. to the chicken and waffles. So my mom's chocolate cake. I have like the lemon pie up here. Um, I got Ratatouille. It's one of my favorite movies. Um, I think, like I said, I think everyone could kick. I don't think it's like a science. My cat, she loves even ramen. So I put her on there. You also have your restaurant's logo so, right above the yes. Mama Burger. Yes, so I would say that actually is the first one. This is the second one. Okay. So the, um, when I first got this, the, uh, it just went with my wife. She wanted a tattoo, and I was like, hey, I, I want a tattoo too, you know? So I didn't know what I really wanted. And we had just opened a restaurant, and we weren't quite open yet, but we had business cards. And I took it out of my wallet, and I was like, hmm, I think I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. Like you're just opening a restaurant, it's like, I'm going to get that tattoo right there. <laughs> right? This yeah. has to work. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I had to, I had to. I mean, it was my first, it's my baby, it's my dream, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd do anything for it, you know? Like, I've, sacrifice for this place to and keep you going. talk about how having your own kitchen allows you to be creative yes. and i love that you offer so many gluten-free yes. options yes. what inspired you to prioritize that my mom my mom is uh well her wife is high gluten she's not quite celiac so before a lot of the stuff was available mm -hmm. my mom was in the kitchen like making her own pre-made modified starches and and flowers to create something for her and her wife so when we opened a restaurant, I wanted to make creme brulee and like chef desserts, you know, stuff that used flour. So for my mom, she was so, I'm gonna bake, I wanna bake. And then being my mom, I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. You can bake. How can you say no? How, yeah. how can you say no, right? Yeah. So I was like, and, and eating my mom's desserts growing up, um, they always been slamming, you know, always hit the spot. So I, I knew we had something good, but I didn't think that it was gonna get so crazy like it has been. So I would say 75% of our customers are probably gluten-free. Wow. Many people have never experienced or it's been a long time since they've had a gluten-free oh, fried chicken sandwich. I yeah. hear it all the time, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, and like they haven't had anything like that since they've been diagnosed. And when they bite into it, what's uh, the reaction? It's crazy. It's, it's heart It's heart feeling, you know. Um, I. I uh, I appreciate my mom and you know, you always gotta listen to mom because he always knows the best, like not even knowing it. Still ahead on Florida Foodie, we take a bite out of those award-winning gluten-free sandwiches and desserts and find out why Alex was forced to change the entire concept of his restaurant during the pandemic. You're back with Florida Foodie and Alex Diaz, who traded a career cooking meals for chain restaurants to opening his own creative concept in Castleberry. Let's jump in with Alex's Fresh Kitchen. Are you ready to take a bite? Yeah. I'm ready. All right, let's try some. Yeah, try it. Let's try it. 
And the cake is gluten free too as okay. well. Okay, yeah. so. that's okay. something that caught my eye immediately because I, I knew the cake was gluten free. And usually when I've seen like gluten free desserts, it looks like cardboard. Yeah, they're like dense. <laughs> this looks fluffy. This looks oh, like chocolate man. cake. So my mom passed the torch to my wife, and now this is her creation. We'll cut this in half. Yeah. Well, you mentioned earlier what you put on your, your fried chicken sandwich. Tell us the ingredients again. Okay, it's going to be a shaved purple cabbage. Yeah. And my cabbage is, I call it a slaw. It's not like your watered down oh, slaw or your vinegar slaw. You just keep it dry mm -hmm. and then we put the aioli on it and it kind of makes it wet. So you're just getting more of a texture. And then uh, garlic aioli on the bottom and then uh, house made pickles. So everything we do, we make it in house. If we could make the bread, we would make the bread at this point, but my place is too small. Really good. I always say I'm a huge fan of the slaw mm -hmm. <laughs> and the Thank sauce. You. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. And the pickles. Yeah, Chef James. Chef James is the pickle master. <laughs> so how he many is. people do you have working for you? I have now? Chef Pablo, Chef Anderson, and the Chef James. Chef James has been with me since day one. Okay. Um, he, he was just a person coming in eating and he wanted to be he wanted to be a chef. He wanted to learn how to cook. Chef uh, Anderson as well, he, he used to work at Metro Diner. And then Chef Pablo, okay. same thing. I worked with him in the past at Real Fish in Winter Park. Mm -hmm. And then he left that job, went into landscaping, and then soon too he came to me and said, hey, Chef, I want to work with you. So these have been the three guys that have been holding it down, running the kitchen, yeah. learning everything from since 2019, 2020. And I know, I've been in your kitchen, it's at your restaurant at least, it's it's a cozy spot, we'll say. Yeah. Like, and like, you guys are like Small making like so much, yeah, about the size of this <laughs> room. And it's, the fact that you guys are like doing all this like by hand, oh, yeah. from scratch as much as possible is really quite impressive. Like how do you guys manage it's all passion. that output with all Love. that space? Love, passion, we respect each other. You know, we call each other chefs throughout the whole kitchen, you know. Um, I think it starts with that. Yeah. What do you want to try next? Hmm. I think we should save the mama burger. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because that's, that's, you know, that's the big cheese, okay. as it were. Okay, then let's so, go for that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go right ahead for that. That is a... Uh, are we creating a sin by not trying your fries here? And no. And the sauce that... No, I What would, are these sauces? So that is... So I usually pair them up. So this has bacon jam and uh, roasted red pepper oh. aioli. Okay. So and is that is that for the that's, fries? And that's that's also on the sandwich. So the, we okay. put it on the side too, so you can dip your fries in it. Okay. And then usually like vegan and gluten free oh. stuff. I do the kale aioli. So this mm -hmm. is kale, and then the one that's under here is garlic. This might be the best BLT I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Can you tell us again what are we eating here? So bacon jam on a potato bun, uh -huh. fried green tomato, three three slices of fried green tomato, three yeah. slices of pecan bacon. Um, lettuce and uh, ramelade. So there's a what red, is this pecan red pecan bacon you talk about? So it's a smoked in pecans. Mm. Smoked pecan. Do you do that? Yes. We do everything. <clears throat> that's amazing. Yeah, it's like, and there's a kick to it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and so like that's the that's the that's the ramelade in there. Yeah, even though the tomatoes are, are fried, they're still got like a nice like, like, juice uh -huh. to it. Yeah, yeah. juice, yeah. chew. Yeah. They're not soggy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we soak them in buttermilk for about. Let's say about a whole day to come out and you fry them. I, I, the burger, the burger speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. I mean, once you try it, go for it. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I will try. Yeah. And so I, I never. Uh, my mom always said that this burger was going to make us famous. Uh huh. Um, Let's see I just never thought we would yeah, go yeah. this far with this burger. But yeah. I mean, we have people coming from like mm -hmm. Miami, yes, <laughs> Tampa. Kissimmee, all just to try this burger. I don't know about. if uh, our director can get ooh, can get a little bit of a close up on this, it's, but the it's cross a section burger. is amazing, yeah. perfectly Certified medium Angus rare, Beast. and just there it is. Look at that, and I'm not even doing it justice. <laughs> so it's it takes the 24 okay. spices. <laughs> yeah, and the cheeses. The cheese, yeah. the cheese is a, a melted Gouda and sharp cheddar. There's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing added to that. It's just melted down slowly. You do it for a long time on, on a double broil. Just let that cheese melt. This is really good. Thank you. Very good. Mm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that is. I'm gonna need a nap after this. <laughs> <laughs>
in it. Oh, the burger good. is something else. Mm -hmm. really so is. tell us about your kitchen, your hours. You just do lunch, you do dinner. We do lunch, breakfast. Mm -hmm. We do lunch and breakfast all day. Mm -hmm. So what attracted you? Because I know it's like a lot of like, pardon me, a lot of like mm. comfort food, very mm -hmm. like kind of Southern inspired. COVID, COVID, COVID. did it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this seems like, you're from New York originally? I'm from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Yeah. So this seems very Southern inspired mm -hmm. almost, you know? Yes, mm -hmm. I, because I ended up in Castleberry. And mm -hmm. when I was doing in the beginning from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m., I was catering more to the health fitness people across the street. I was doing yogurt parfaits, yogurt granola plates. Uh, you know, fruit plates. I was doing, I had probably like seven or eight things on the menu. And that's why we got, we chose the name Alex's Fresh Kitchen because mm -hmm. we were just trying to do a fresh approach of food. And then when COVID came, no one was coming to the restaurant because no one wanted that. Mm -hmm. Everyone was like in the dumps. They want comfort, right? So I had to and think of a menu. Something you probably don't want to make. Yes. It takes a long time. To, you know, something you know. handheld. Mm -hmm. Something that's going to, like a burger, right? Mm -hmm. So when the whole COVID restrictions came, we were like, all right, let's think of like planned dinners and planned stuff for families because families were coming out at night. They weren't really coming out in the daytime and the afternoon. It was just sitting in the house all day waiting to go out. So we changed our hours. We started doing planned dinners and we were posted what we had. We were doing steak, lobsters, sandwiches, seafood. We were doing a bunch of different stuff. Mm -hmm. And then as that progressed, that was helping us stay alive. And then uh, COVID said uh, COVID restrictions lifted, and it was like 25 to 50 percent. Then after that, we were full open. It was just about wearing masks, and then mm -hmm. that just became an issue because we're like 95, 92 degrees in the kitchen, and mm -hmm. like we're like dripping sweat because mm -hmm. of this mask. It's mm -hmm. like, do you really want us dripping that sweat on your food? Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's like so. It was that was a tough time. Yeah, you know, obviously the Mamba Burger is your kind of your signature, but like, it, what's what's been people's like? aha moment with you it's like oh i wasn't expecting that yeah i think just basically what we do there i mean you've seen there what mm -hmm. we do like uh it's very small like our sh we all play all the roles we answer the phones we take the food out to you we cook the food we wash the dishes we sanitize we we're, we're talking to you we're you know it's it's a different atmosphere and i think people for most people they see it and then they appreciate what we what we're doing and uh I, there's just a lot of wow factors, you know. Yeah. COVID had really knocked us to the ground. You know, all the money that we had made pretty much has been put into the business. I'm, nev I'm never going to yeah. get that back. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, the only way I'm going to get that back is if I move somewhere else, double in sales. Yeah. And that's, that's the only way for it. You ready to try Mama's Cake? Yeah. What is this called on the menu? Oh, uh, this is not actually not on the menu. So oh, since oh. so since my my wife has took over, mm -hmm. she has a different creative mind. Um, she's diving more into brownies, cookies. We're doing cheesecake. So this one is a chocolate cake, just chocolate cake with a chocolate frosting. So I just call it chocolate on chocolate, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but normally the staples were lemon pie, banana bread, and uh, peanut butter chocolate cake. But it's just kind of like over the years it's faded out. Mm -hmm. So we're just experimenting with new things. And what she's doing is doing very well. <laughs> do you do yeah. catering? Yeah, we do catering. We do catering. Delivery? I do, yep, I can do, do delivery All right, stuff like too. Mm -hmm. So where can people find you online? You can find us on Alex's Fresh Kitchen, FL.com on our website, or okay. you can find us on Facebook and Instagram at Alex's Fresh Kitchen. And that's gluten free. Yes, all the cakes are gluten free. <laughs> can I get a fork, please? <laughs> Just eat it with your hands, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there It all. is so good, and I love that you are offering that because there are so many people. There's, yes. Yeah, and such a huge need. So. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you go to restaurants now and you see, you know, just a handful of items. And they don't do it right. Yeah. Yeah. That's the other thing too. That's why a lot of people come to us because mm -hmm. we're on the gluten free app and we're we're up in the awareness mm -hmm. about like where is the best gluten free food to eat and we're we're in that top category I believe because we get a lot of people that come there. Well, I don't even love cake a whole lot, but I love this cake. Thank it you. is wonderful. Thank you so, so much, Alex Diaz. Thank you. you have filled up our, our tummies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have inspired us. 
we want to come back. I want another BLT, I think, every day of the week. So, <laughs> <laughs> Definitely get thank, you so thank you so much. much. Thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you for watching Florida Foodie. Don't forget, you can watch anytime on New 6 Plus. That's where you can explore delicious stories and meet the makers behind some of the best mom and pop restaurants in Florida.